Reed will. And welcome to the Cedar Falls regular city council meeting this September 4th, 2018. I'll now call this meeting to order and a roll call from Madam Clerk, please. <coughs> Miller. Here. DeVore. Here. Cruz. Here. Blamford. Here. Dara. Here. Wheeland. Here. Green. Here. All members are present, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item C is there a motion to approve the regular minutes of August 20th. So moved. Second. Second. Motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Item D, any agenda revisions, Madam Clerk? Uh, yes, agenda item G2D on the resolution calendar is being removed. That's item D. Thank you, D in the resolution. Um, item, uh, ne the next item is a special order of business. E1 is a public hearing and proposed amendments to Chapter 29, zoning of the Code of Ordinances relative to design guidelines in the Central Business District overlay. Is there a motion received and file proof of publication? So moved. Second. Motion, second. All in, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Any written objections, Madam Clerk? I have no written objections on file, Mr. Mayor. Thanks. Before we open up for public hearing, I believe we have Iris Lehman to explain a little bit on the public hearing tonight. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So the um, Central Business District overlay provides guidance for building site design standards, maintenance, and development within the district. And the district itself um, expands from the river south to 7th Street and then west to Franklin Street. The amendments under consideration today uh, pertain specifically to a new development and redevelopment in the Central Business District. And um, these changes focus specifically on storefront design. Um, and these really look to strengthen and um, encourage the high quality of development that we have ongoing in our downtown. The memo provided to council provides a summary of the proposed, does that mean proposed? design amendments, and um, there's also a redline version of the, the code amendments provided. Um, they outline the changes um, in red font, uh, language is underlined, um, strict through is uh, language that's proposed to be deleted. Um, that's a quick summary. If there's any questions um, from the public or from council, I'm happy to, to answer those or try Thank to you, answer Iris. Those. I'll now open it up for the public for a public hearing. Hearing and seeing none, I'll close the hearing. Item two is pass the ordinance amending chapter 29 of the Code of Ordinances relative to design guidelines in the Central Business District overlays. First consideration, is there a motion please? Move. Second. Motion, second. Open up for council questions or comments. Requires a roll call vote please. I'm voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item F is old business. F1 is pass ordinance 2929 amending the Code of Ordinances relative to the city's floodplain regulations upon its third and final consideration. Is there a motion please? So I'll move, Mr. Mayor. Motion, second. Comments by council? Roll call votes, please. I'll vote aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item two is pass ordinance 2930, rezoning property at Midway Business Park Edition, pursuant to provisions of a zoning agreement associated with ordinance 2080. It's a third and final consideration. Is there a motion, please? So moved. Second. Motion, second. Comments by council? Roll call vote, please. I'm voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item three is a resolution approving and authorizing execution of an agreement to amend restrictions in deed of dedication relative to property located at Midway Business Park. Is there a motion, please? I'll move. Second. Motion, second. Comments by council. Roll call vote, please. I'm voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. G is new business. G wants the consent calendar. The following items will be acted upon by a voice vote on a single motion without separate discussion. Unless someone from the council or the public requests an item to be pulled uh, for such discussion. Any such requests from council? From the public? Hearing and seeing none, I'll, item, I'll summarize the items on the consent calendar. Item A is receive and file the committee the whole minutes of August 20th. B is receive and file the administration committee minutes of August 21. C is received and filed dep departmental monthly reports of July 2018. D is received and filed the FY18 annual report of the Public Works and Parks Division. E is received and filed the bid received for the 2018 seal coat project. F is approving special event requests. G and H is approving applications for permits and licenses. Is there a motion to approve the consent calendar? So moved. Second. Motion second. Any further discussion from council? Almost all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Item two is resolution calendar. These items will be acted upon by a roll call vote in a single motion without separate discussion. Unless someone from the council or public requests an item to be pulled as such. Any requests from the council? From the public? Hearing and seeing none, I'll summarize the resolution calendar. A is resolution levying a final assessment for costs incurred by the city to mow and clear overgrown vegetation on the property located at 2208 Coventry Lane. 
B is approving and authorizing execution of an agreement with Cedar Falls Community School District relative to summer travel. C is approving and authorizing execution of a contract with the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau relative to funding for traffic enforcement and training. D has been pulled. E is resolution approving and authorizing execution of a joint funding agreement with the U.S. <coughs> Geological Society relative to the Cedar River Stream Gauge Station. F is approving and accepting the bid for the 2018 Seal Coat Project. G is approving and accepting the contract for the 2018 Seal Coat Project. H is approving and accepting the contract for the sidewalk assessment project. I is approving the preliminary plat of West Village. J is approving and accepting a lien notice and special promissory note for uh, the rental to single family owner conversion incentive program. K is approving and authorizing execution of agreements and easements in conjunction with the West First Street reconstruction project. L is approving three occupancy permits in Arbor's third edition. And M is a resolution setting September 17th as a date of public hearing on the city's FY17 and 18 consolidated annual performance and the evaluation report for the CDBG grant and home programs. Is there a motion for the resolution calendar? So moved. Motion second, right here? Second. Oh, okay, second. Any discussion? Requires a roll call vote, please. Voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Moving on to item H, is there a motion to allow bills and payroll? So moved. Second. Motion second. Requires a roll call vote, please. All voting aye, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Item I, does council have any items for referral this evening? Uh, it's not necessarily a referral. I guess I have a question to staff and um, perhaps a referral after that. But at our last uh, council meeting, we had a constituent with, I, I think, some justified concerns about uh, dry cutting concrete and what our our practices were and our ordinances and that kind of thing. And I'm just kind of curious since then, uh, kind of what is the status? Do we have such ordinances? What is the status of that at this point? And I don't know who. I'm happy to open that up. In fact, I believe last week, Stephanie, you covered the factors, or I'm sorry, um, uh, Craig covered what was taken care of with that dry cutting, um, both not with the contractor, but also as the subcontractor. In fact, that crew that was working on it, and the subcontractor is no longer working on the project. Correct. I, I'd also like to state that uh, there was no dry cutting that was occurring at one point. Um, some of the um, areas that had been previously cut were being blown out, um, and, um, and so we've we've worked with the contractor to have those things uh, addressed and just like the mayor said one of the contractors no longer working on the site so we have an existing ordinance and we monitor it on a regular basis well in any of our contracts they need to follow any uh, osha regulations that might apply so i don't know that we our specs did not speak to that specifically but they need to follow the uh, osha guidelines it I think Mr. Mr. Heath has got some information on this. Yeah, I, I can expound on that a little further. Uh, the new crystalline silica requirements that were established by OSHA require contractors, require anybody doing any type of cutting of concrete or any drilling or any type of, of concrete work such as that, they're required to either wet cut where there's no dust or they're required to capture that dust through a HEPA approved type of, uh, of a vacuum. So so no dust is allowed to escape. Also, personnel are required to wear uh, a breathing apparatus to prevent uh, inhaling the, the crystalline silica. Very good. Thank, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other updates? Or sorry, referrals at this point. Any council updates? I was going to ask also Mr. Heath just to cover a little bit on the water from this weekend, where the city was, where we're at right now, and crews have been out and about checking on things. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, uh, as after the event yesterday of three inches of rain or whatever fell <clears throat> in that short period of time, um, as I was called and, uh, and came into town, I, I observed a lot of inundation on the streets. Um, at that time, public safety was doing a very good job of containing traffic and <coughs> trying to keep them away from uh, those inundated areas where, where we had a lot of sheet flow down our streets. Um, once the water receded, which was not too long after, uh, we made assessments. Um, we, we started assessing washouts and, and uh, any, any problems that may have occurred. Um, a lot of that 
was material that came out of granular alleys, granular uh, roadways, and, uh, and then we had some um, asphalt erosion on some of our city streets. We also had a situation where we had an undermine from sheet flow off of Hudson Road uh, on an intake, and uh, at that time, Hudson Road, or at this time, I should say, Hudson Road is down to one lane southbound in the 1700 block. Assessment will be made on that. It appears that we have a possible separated tile. Um, we'll, we'll probe that situation and get that taken care of probably this week yet. Meanwhile, we're out uh, continue, continuing with all of the cleanup on the streets and, and reestablishing granular surfaces, alleys, um, shoulders, et cetera. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, and in addition to that, we're keeping a close eye on the river levels. Um, as we know, we got some, some moderate flooding now. Um, we're hoping that the rain will kind of miss us here, but uh, working with city staff in preparation of whatever may come. Very good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yes, Dave. I know this weekend we had both staff and our, and our public works department uh, working all weekend on a holiday weekend. So it's greatly appreciated that they did that. And I would hope we can find some way of giving them some time off later on for their diligence in keeping our city dry and safe. So thank you all who had to thank work you. this weekend. Thank you. Moving on to item K, public forum. Speakers will have up to one opportunity to speak for up to five minutes on topics germane to city business. Is anyone here from the public that'd like to speak tonight? <coughs> Hearing and seeing none, moving item L, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. So moved. Motion second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. We are adjourned. Thank you.